Rockford University. The officer is identified as Jamie Cox. Officer Cox has only been with the Rockford Police Department since December of last year after joining the force from the Illinois Department of Natural Resources. 13 News anchor Sean Mazzarello has been on the scene all morning for us to bring you live updates online and on Facebook. And he joins us now live from District 3 headquarters with more today. Sean, good morning. Christian, very sad out here. A lot of heavy hearts with the Rockford Police Department. Not only the leadership, but the officers that I've seen come in and out of District 3 headquarters here off of South Newtown Drive. This was one of their own. Killed in the line of duty, and we just found out he is a local boy. He graduated from Hananiga High School, went to NIU and got his degree. He is embedded in this community, and he died in this community this morning, we found out, just after 5 o'clock. Let's go back to when this all started. Look at this video from the scene. This is 1 o'clock in the morning, uh, Dawn Avenue and State Street. What we're told by Rockford Police is that Officer Cox pulled over a car. It was a routine traffic stop. They did not say how many people were in that car. Obviously, there's a driver, but something happened because Officer Cox, we're told, radioed for assistance. So when backup got there, we don't know how long that took, but when backup got there, they found the car involved two blocks north of where the original traffic stop was. Officer Cox was critically injured, and someone inside the car was dead. Now, on Rockford Police Department's Twitter account this morning, they said that this was a shooting involving an officer. They didn't say the officer shot at the suspect or the suspect shot at the officer. So there's still a lot of unknowns about what happened. But what we do know happened, as soon as those officers got there, they rushed Officer Cox to the nearby hospital, OSF. He was pronounced dead from his injuries, which we're told we don't know yet, but he was pronounced dead just after 5 o'clock this morning. We don't know who died inside that car. That's still being withheld. But I can tell you, standing outside that emergency room, there were a lot of heavy hearts. Take a look at this video of the funeral procession. It started at the emergency room, and what they did is they took Officer Cox's body from that emergency room and followed it all the way down to the coroner's office in downtown Rockford. There were hundreds of cars, headlights for days, as they followed their brother all the way back to where his final place is right now, which is with the coroner. The coroner is going to determine the cause of death. We've talked to the Rockford police chief. We have a lot of unanswered questions, and he is still trying to get those answers himself, it seems like. Why did he pull the car over? How many people were inside? Why did he radio for backup? What happened next? Was it the same car that crashed two blocks north? Who died inside that car? Right now, though, the main concern is for the officers who went to the scene and the officers who are now mourning the loss of their brother. I can tell you, Kristen, just a little while ago, uh, I was in the atrium waiting to come inside the District 3 headquarters, and this woman approached us. We asked who she was. She's a grief counselor. She's really concerned for the officers. She wants them to talk about this with each other, with her, because this is unimaginable grief. A 30-year-old police officer is dead. We don't know how, but he is dead, and we do know that he came here in December 2016 from the Department of Natural Resources. He was a conservation officer. We also found out he is a, um, a US, U.S. Army National Guard. He was honorably discharged in 2010, graduated from NIU with environmental studies. He has at least behind a wife. So, Kristen, right now this is still an active investigation, a lot of unknowns, but right now Officer Jamie Cox is at the coroner's office and people here are already mourning his death. Back to you. Sean, do you have any information about when police may bring you an update about the latest information, suspect information, or anything else that has happened here this morning? So at the last press conference, which was around 4 o'clock this morning, we were told it would be 8 o'clock, but then they hastily threw together a press conference at about 5.45 to tell us that uh, Officer Cox has succumbed to his injuries. So we don't know when the next update will be. We are here at District 3 headquarters off South Newtown Drive to get any update, up-to-date information. They're literally a stone's throw from where we are sorting this all out, and so we have direct line of communication with them. So when we get those unknown um, answers, Kristen, we'll pass them along. All right, Sean, reporting live from District 3 headquarters in Rockford with this breaking news of an officer killed in the line of duty. Sean, thank you for that report. And Officer Cox has, again, only been on the force a very short time in here in Rockford. Take a look at this video. It's from